Right, we've got a new video. It's um, the C64 this time, Commodore 64, and it's uh, with reference to Jiffy DOS. Now, Jiffy DOS is a replacement kernel for the Commodore 64, which speeds up not just disk loading, but things like sequential file um, well, directories and things like that speed up as well. So, whilst these uh, speed loader carts are very, very good, um, they don't actually speed up the uh, getting of directories when you're, which isn't so much of a problem. And when you do have an SD to IC or, or similar piece of hardware, it does make a hell of a difference. Uh, I suppose we'll show you the little replacing the disk drive with one of those little things. Little SD card in the front there, and you've got all your games on there. So here's Mark. He's right there. Been, been a while since we've done a video, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. and uh, Mark's the one who uh, unsold because in the actual C64s, you have to actually unsold the, the kernel chip, don't you? Sorry. <laughs> Being sensible now. Um, yeah, you have to completely strip the 64, remove the motherboard out of there, and then you have to unsolder a chip and then there's 28 pins and you when you do it it's a double sided board so you unsolder from the back but you have to make sure all the solders out from the front and because the chip will st still stick so what I did was what was best was I unsolded it and made sure the, the leg of the chip moved on the back and then turned it over and carefully prized it up and it's a bit heart stopping now I've done two now so I so um, basically, um, once you do that, you fit a socket and then you push the Jiffy DOS chip into it. It's uh, quite a nerve-wracking mod, much like the Saturn is with the BIOS chip as well, but not for the faint hearted, is it? No. You wouldn't have no, done it, would you? No, no, I wouldn't. So, right. um, yeah, and then you then uh, we bought the kits which had uh, the 1541 chips, which was a much easier task by all accounts because it actually was sat in a socket anyway, the uh, 1541. Yeah. Um, you obviously don't have to do anything with the SD to IC, it's compatible with Jiffy DOS. Um, and it's uh, not, not just the getting of directories which really, really helps, it's pretty, pretty damn quick loading as well, which we shall show you. So, first off, this is with it turned off. So, no surprises there, the Commodore 64 start up screen with the standard kernel. Uh, so, well, it's just going to boot up the browser on the SD card and uh, if anyone's not seen the SD to IC uh, this is the little bit of software that allows you to navigate through your SD card so move down that's a directory which we've gone into there and then we're going to load Zenji so as you can see we're going to Z which brings up all the games under Z a little bit of time to get in there and down to zengi.prog and this, this is it loading standard so this is no turbo, no carts in the back or anything and uh, as you can see talk amongst yourselves yeah, go and make a cup of tea because <laughs> of a three course meal it does take a little bit of time Here we are. there you go uh, we're going to have a walk around the block Okay. The door. There we go. We're doing a YouTube We're on camera at the moment. And there we go. <laughs> All up and running. Okay. I'll switch off. I'm going to go Jiffy DOS. Turn Jiffy DOS on. We'll see the difference on the, on the thing. Yeah. And we'll just pause here. Right, so there we go. We've sorted, <laughs> sorted out the uh, bits and pieces that were going on there. And we're back. So uh, this is what happens when you flip the switch when it's off and you turn it back on. As you can see, it's very similar to the original uh, kernel, but there we go, Jiffy DOS 6.01. Um, and uh, okay, so there's little shortcuts and what have you with Jiffy DOS, which makes it a lot better. So instead of having to do the load or L Shift O uh, and all that rubbish, come right, come one, you can just. Commodore key. Commodore key. Run stop. Run stop. The shift run stop works. And there you go, I mean. <laughs> I load the same. That was so quick. The same file. There we go, and then I'll go down to Zengi. Uh, and as you can see, I mean that that's already come up incredibly quick. The direct, and there, there it is. is. I mean, 
at the end of the day, once you have Jiffy DOS, you can't go back. You anymore. can't go back, no. Yeah. I mean, that, it makes the C64. Um, well, it's just incredible. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, brilliant. There we go. In the Zendu. And um, Jiffy DOS is very, very compatible with uh, turbo loaders anyway. Um, from all accounts, it's much more compatible than the cartridges. Uh, you can put your favourite cart in and use that in conjunction with it, but to be honest... We'll load, we'll load a multi-disc one, which is um, mayhem, isn't it? That's yeah, let me move in. Sorry about the camera angle there. My arms are okay. giving out a little mayhem. bit. mayhem. This is a multi-disc. It took a long time to load. There we are. And there we go. It's decrunching. It's loaded. Um, you know, this works not just with the SD to IC, it works because it was originally for the 1541, 1581s, things like that. As you can see it's using turbo load there and in we go, I mean it's, yeah. it's lightning isn't it? Superb, yeah. There we go, so um... So we just do show the, we've got your... Yeah, that's there. um... Show what we've fitted on it. We've got um... We've got on the back... You, you can use your um your cartridge in there, but I've yeah. I've fitted it uh, So there's a separate reset switch. Yeah. There's something in the background going on again. Yeah, so, yeah. so reset there and also there's your Jiffy Dosser. There we're gonna look into um Yeah, the switchless, switchless mod on, uh, where you so we remove that. Yeah, and then you just turn it on, it's Jiffy DOS. If you turn it on with restore held down, it's standard um with the non switchless one. Also, um perhaps you want to talk about the uh, modified SID chip as well. Oh yeah, the SID chips yeah. in these. The, oh, these had the new SID chip, so um, what we did was, um, well what Mark did was do the SID modification. Now with the new SIDs the problem was the speech. The speech yeah. was uh, very very quiet. Um, well, to the point sometimes where you couldn't even hear it, could you? But uh, yeah, now we've done that modification so the all the 64 they come with a six what's it eight five no what's the number of the chipper okay <laughs> hang on, hang on. Yeah. no idea the, can't the remember chips that had the good sound were um 1681 was it or was it yeah so i can't remember, remember but, but these ones it's are... got 8580 there we go and the speech was very quiet yeah so this one this one's been modified so we'll load, um, we'll load Ghostbusters, shall we? Cause yeah, we'll might as well. There's an impossible mission, version. things like that, but hey. So, this is always a bugbear we, when the ball knows ones go. So, hang on. Got one here. One you prepared earlier. So that, one's, that one's the original ball nose, which has got. It's, it's fine. So, that's. Uh, these ones sound like this, don't they? But yeah. Obviously no, they do, yeah, with the mod, it's. Some, um, some SID purists out there are going to. Yeah, yeah, say but. Yes, you know. Yes, but, for us as the end kids, of the day, we... I think it sounds fine. Oh, and okay. these are you, you can get hold of the C64Cs a lot easier and cheaper. Yeah. So we're navigating down. Right here we go. Ghostbusters run. Um, so this we go. There we go. Loaded. It's just incredibly quick. It's decrunching. As you can hear, the uh, speech is uh, yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Can't say fair in a that, can you? Jiffy Doss, then. So there we go. So yeah, there, there was a quick, quick video, very shaky footage of uh, a Commodore 64 with Jiffy Doss, the SID modification. Uh, oh, and the little thing there. The blue LED changed as well. Yeah. Changed as well. So yeah, signing off for now.